Music comes in handy. I don't know what I just did. All right, before we talk about whatever I'm gonna choose to talk about, this is my basically my schedule, I guess you could say. I put a few things down that I should talk about because I oh no, because I couldn't think of anything really to talk about in general. Because I always make these videos with like many things to talk about. I never have just one thing really. It's very rare when I do. So I wrote down things I want to talk about, and yeah, so I figured I'd show you them. Yeah, I don't know. I figured I'd show you them. Let me put it away, and then we'll get started. All right, now we go. Hello, people. How are you doing this fine um, morning? It's 11.40 a.m., and I've been up all night, which is not a rare thing, if you can tell by my videos. Like, I've, there's been quite a few videos where I've been like, I've been up all night. So this is one of those days where I've been up all night. So awesome to sleep deprivation, because I just feel like 100% ready to go. I don't. I want to go to bed. No, I don't want to go to bed because I'm not tired. But I do feel the effects of not sleeping because I can just like, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, at first I saw my neck like all like, so I was like, let me move my neck. And then I was all like, like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I, I don't know what I just did. So yeah, let's talk about things because you want to talk things. I don't, you know, I can only snap this finger. I can't snap this one. Isn't that weird? Like, I'm right-handed, but I can't snap the right hand, but I can snap the left. You got to be so mean, because I want to party with the mean tweets. I don't know, shit, I'm, I'm out. Um, so yeah, I can't, like, I don't know, I can see, it's like, I don't know. So yeah, um, what should we talk about? Do you want to talk about my new obsession with aliens? Because, well, I've had this shirt and this choker, but... Look at this, like, how cool is this? Oh my gosh. Like, I have become obsessed with aliens. I love aliens. I want to be taken by an alien. I just want to live with aliens. Ugh, the only way I wouldn't want to be taken is if I know that they're going to hurt me. Then I'd be like, well, you know, I don't want to deal with the pain that you're going to inflict on me. So let's just say, forget it, and you can abduct someone else. But if they're not going to hurt me, like, if they're going to probe me, but I won't feel it, go right ahead. But if I feel it, I don't want to be part of it. So here's the hoping I get abducted by aliens who do not want to inflict pain on me. Is that a weird request? I don't know. Some people want to be unicorns. Heck, I'd like to be a vampire. Like, hello, come and bite my neck. I'm up for the fucking, excuse my language, vampirism. I'm up for, you know, even though the blood makes me, ugh, I hate blood. Like, it doesn't make me faint. It works throw up but I hate blood and I hate like the t ugh, it's like I've tasted blood before because like you ever get a cut and you're like like a little cut and you get a little blood in your mouth ugh, disgusting like ugh, god so yeah um yeah so I'm having like an alien obsession right now I want like everything alien super bad like I love aliens also like I realized lately that my beliefs are aliens vampires, unicorns, and mermaids. Those four should exist for all of eternity, and I should be one of those things, or all of them. I, wow, that'd be weird, a vampire mermaid? That would be disgusting, no offense. That'd be really creepy, like, oh my god, look at the mermaid. <sighs> I want to suck your blood in the water. <clears throat> like, okay, I am not swimming anymore. No, I'm just joking. So yeah, um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Oh, okay, so yeah, aliens. New obsession. I love aliens. I want to be one. Like, they're so cool. Um, what else can we talk about? Because, you know, I'm just full of uh, interesting things to talk about. Like, look at my face. Like, I have such weird facial expressions. Like, my precious. Oh wait. Let me in, Styles. Let me in. I can do that really well, right? I, well, I think I can. I don't know if I can, but I think that pretty much sounds like Void Styles. Like, maybe they should have hired me to do it. I could have been like totally terrorizing Dylan O'Brien. I would have been like, 
I'm all for that. Tell me what to do and I will do it. What? Just kidding. No, wait, seriously, I, can, I like doing that. Hello there, Prussians. Hello, Governor. Would you like to spot a cup of tea? Um, I'd love to meet the Queen of England later for a little bit of uh, crumpets. I don't know. I sound very weird. But I would like to talk about um, things going on in everyday life, like people making fun of other celebrities, which can be very rude and very hurtful to their... To themselves, I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm talking in an accent. In in my head, I think it sounds alright, but at the same time, it's going in and out of things, and I think it's also very annoying. So maybe I should stop. But once I get inside of it, I really can't get out because the accent takes a hold of me. Oh wow, look at that! I came out. So yeah, um, I don't know. Oh my god. See, no sleep makes me just not know what to talk about because it's like nothing seems right. I want to talk about shows, but I do that in every single video. It's just like shows make me happy. Like, oh my god, West Allen. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so excited for them to happen. Or Blarick. Oh, I can't lose you too. Oh my god. Let's not forget that Jason said when Clark said it to Finn, that that was basically her saying I love him. So what does it mean when she said it to Bellamy? Huh, Jason? I think you let a little something slip. Because when you said that about Finn, then you could be saying the same thing about Bellamy. Because she said the exact same thing to Bellamy as she did to Finn. So if that meant so when she said it to Finn, if that meant that she loved him, wouldn't it mean the same thing for Bellamy? Because let's be honest, I mean, there's, there's that connection. There's that something there. Um... Also, Zaid. Oh my god, they're gonna have a baby. So excited for that. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Like, Zoe and Wade are my loves, and they're gonna have a baby, and oh my god. I hope part of Dixie gets renewed, but if it doesn't, this will end greatly. I I love the show. I mean, it's been a great four years, and I'm so happy for it, and I can't wait to see where it ends completely. So yeah, um, what else? What else? What else can I talk about? Because I never know what to talk about. Um, I guess I can talk about, ooh, you know, I think I might have, um, I think I might have did something wrong. I didn't do something wrong, but I think it might have been a bad thing to do, because I got my mom hooked on Blue Bloods, and now, all she ever says to me is become a cop, become a cop. I want to be like the Reagans, become a cop, become a cop. And I'm just like, you know they're not real. I hear myself saying it to my mom, and I'm thinking... Maybe I should say that to myself when I talk about characters because they're not real as well. But like, she, I, yeah, so I was like thinking, I'm telling her, you know they're not real when really every character I love isn't real, but I still like, oh my god, they're real to me. And they belong in my heart and into my heart. And in my heart they are real. And see, this is what happens when we got sleep deprivation, man. I can't, I don't know what I'm saying. It's like words are coming up for the time to think of it. And honestly, all that I'm doing right now is thinking of Richard Armitage, I think he said it right, who I made a video of before this, who I have a po I most likely be posting, but knowing me, I probably won't post it, but I probably will, because he's, my god, oh my god, anyways, yeah, um, yeah, so I'm just kind of thinking of him, and like, yeah, I don't know, because I was just talking about it, so like, I kind of have like, I don't know, I have a, like, I can, like, when I think of someone or think of something, I can like, see it, like, in my head, like, I can see, like, an interview I watched, or a scene I watched, or something I saw or read, I can like picture it in my head and I can just see it. And so like right now I can just picture like the interview I just watched with him. So it's like in my head and his voice. And, oh, okay, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. No, 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 I'm not talking about it anymore. Um, yeah, what else? Maybe I should look at my list, you know? Maybe I should just get a little feel for it. Because I can't think of anything to say. I'm so like, look at this, now I can't find it. Because I have too much pages and I hate this book. Oh my god, look at this shit. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Okay. Uh, I have the weirdest stuff I wrote down. Like, I legit have talk about writing, no sleep, let's pretend, how happy people you've never met make you, The Hobbit, 
Aiden Turner, funny faces, they're 100 returning, escape reality once a day or else life will make you insane. That is my motto. Escape reality once a day or else life will make you insane. Because, let's face it, life is one crazy ass time. And if you do not escape it every once in a while, you are bound to just go insane. You're just gonna lose it. So, once a day, escape reality. Wait, escape reality once a day or else life will make you insane. That is my motto. Live by it. Learn it, live by it, breathe it, whatever. Write it on your walls, write it on your Tumblr, whatever. But also, going into Tumblr, I don't know why I did this, yeah, well, I don't know. Going into Tumblr, I made a new little, like, I added a blog to my other blog, because I wanted to have a blog just for my writings instead of posting it on my fandom. Tumblr, my fandom blog, but I decided to make one just for like my writings and it's Do You Hear The Voices? That's my Tumblr like URL and name stuff. Do You Hear The Voices? I know, right? Awesome. I don't know. I, I just thought it was cool. And it's basically all my writings. You can check it out. I have like, I think like 20 or 15 posts, maybe 15 to 20 posts of some writings I did. It's only going to be writings, maybe a few little reposts. No, honestly, it's only going to be writings. It's, I think that's all it's going to be is writings or maybe a few reposts of like some t quotes I liked. But it's mostly just like um, a blog about my writings and some of my feelings, some very dark stuff, some very like unusual stuff, some very, some stuff that doesn't necessarily describe me but it's like I don't know I feel things so intensely that when I feel something I guess I just I need a way to explain it in great detail and kind of like get the words in a way that people can like oh wow I, I understand this you know and I feel that as well so a lot of times I'll write stuff off like you know how people will write a song off a beat or see um, a movie and then decide to write a song about it or something that's me like I will like I will watch a movie or listen to a song or just see something or just be sitting here and it's like all these like emotions and all these things come back to me and I'm like I just can't stop writing and it's like even though it doesn't really mean it doesn't actually describe my everyday life or describe my life in general. It has somewhat of me, it still has me in it, but it also has a little bit of those emotions of being in love and kind of experiencing who you are and not being able to find yourself and having negative people and just being torn down. And so my Tumblr, my blog is basically all those emotions that are really dark and deep, some light ones as well. and love and happiness and sadness and being lost and feeling so alone and it's like that's what my blog is mostly about you know because I, I have a lot of dark stuff to write so I mean of course quite a, my, quite a lot of my stuff is going to be dark but I mean I also have I'll also be posting like stories I write which those are dark as well lately but I have other stories and other quotes that aren't as dark that I might be posting as well because I have a lot of writing stuff everywhere. So I would go follow it if you want to. You can check it out first. If you don't like it, don't follow it. But if you do, follow it, whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. I really love to write. And I love to be able to get out these emotions that I don't allow anyone else to see. And with Tumblr, I don't feel like I'm judged. Like even if they're judging me, they don't know me. They don't see me. So really, they're judging words on the computer. They're, that's basically what they're doing. You're judging someone based off what they wrote. And what what they wrote doesn't always mean it's about them. It could mean about, it could be about something the person saw or something the friends, or something the person's friend went through or something the person watched. So you're judging a person off of stupid stuff. So if you're judging people off what they say, then that is stupid. But yeah, which I'm probably a hypocrite for saying that because there are some people who will post on Twitter something that I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? 
oh my god, this person, like, what the hell are they talking about? Like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But what I'm saying is when you read something on Tumblr and you don't like it or something, or you read it and you're like, oh, this person's stupid. Oh, look at them. They're all suicidal crazy. They should just die. I think it's stupid. It's like, do you hear yourself? You don't even know this person, and yet you feel the need to just tear them down when you already know that they're at their weakest. That's what gets me. I don't understand you when you do that, like, at all. So it's like, yeah, it's a place where you can feel safe, to be honest. Like, you can read my stuff, retweet it, whatever, like it, and no one's judging you. If you feel this way, who effing gives a fuck? Because this, you, this is your own place this is your blog this is your twitter you can choose to retweet or repost or tweet or post about something that is really affecting you in your life at the moment whether it be your parents divorcing or depression is starting to hit you or school's hard it doesn't matter because you should always feel like if you can't talk to someone about it then you should be able to go to a place where other people can relate where you can see something and say wow this person gets me or this person really feels what I feel and you can be able to share in that so I think that's what's great about Tumblr is a lot of people post very dark emotions that you don't allow the family or the friends to see but you allow strangers because you don't feel judged you don't feel like they're all analyzing everything you do or every emotion you feel and so it's nice to have that on Tumblr and I love that people feel safe enough to post stuff like that and I want them to because honestly when I read it it makes me happy because I'm like this is I feel exactly the same way and I thought it was the only one and it's like this person understands me and you know some people might not like like some people that might not be a big deal but to a lot of others it really means a lot to find that someone else feels this way and that you're not alone you know a lot of people that's their saving grace like finding out someone understands them finding a person who's willing to talk with them about this kind of stuff without judging or without oh well are you sure you should be feeling that way your life's going really well at the moment no we don't do that we understand you know we understand that even if your life is going fantastic you can be extremely depressed or extremely suicidal or extremely sad. It doesn't matter. You have these emotions. You feel these emotions and no one, no one can tell you not to feel them. No one can say, well, well, you know, uh, it, your life is going in the direction I really see, I really want it to, you know, so this getting on medication might affect it and you might want to like, you know, stuff like that, because I know there's people out there like that. I don't know what I got to do. I just kind of, uh, I just kept on talking. Yeah. So, <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video, because I'm going to go, because I don't know what I'm talking about, and I, I don't know. So, I hope you enjoyed this very video, very video, very video, and I hope you come back for more, and I'm sorry, I'm just really just, I don't know. I can just feel it. Like, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so badly, like, sleep deprived. So, I hope you, the, 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 yeah. hope you enjoy this video. And if I post the other video before this, then you should check that out as well. So, check it out. Alright, peace, peace, peace to the Middle East. What? Probably shouldn't have said that. Alright, bye.